Today we are washing windows and the best time to wash windows is early in the morning before the sun hits the window while the windows are still cool or in the evening when the sun has gone down. You don't want to do it during the day when the sun is hitting the window. It leaves a lot of streaks. So I'm using some really warm water. My favorite cleaning product. A little bit of vinegar. And I like to put just a little bit of dish washing soap in the water. I don't I think it keeps it from spotting, kind of like it does your glasses in the dishwasher. Okay, so you can see the sun is getting up above the trees and I'm gonna lose my shade pretty soon. So I'm kind of in a hurry to get this window done before the sun gets up and hits it. It really does make a big difference when you do it in the shade versus doing it in the sun. Okay, so I'm back in the shade so I don't have to work so fast and we're gonna work on the basement windows. And this is where I use this Lime Away product. And I have listened to you and I'm going to wear gloves and protect my hands. Thank you very much. I know I should always do it, but definitely you do it when you're using Lime Away. Some of you have asked me why we have window wells. These window wells right here. Well, we used to have metal ones, but they started to rust and they were breaking apart and they were a lot smaller than these nice ones right here. So we dug them out and we bought these cast window wells and put them a little wider than the house. That's why you can see the different, the tar from the house. These have been super window wells. Um, we have, um, some people in different parts of the country aren't familiar with basements. We can have a basement here. We don't have a high water table and we have really good drainage. So we have a basement, but we want to be able to have some good windows. We don't just want a little window right here. So we put these wells in to hold the dirt back so we can have bigger windows in our basements. So, because the water from the sprinkling system and just being down low gets splattered upon these windows, it gets a lot of hard water buildup. It's kind of hard to get off. So I take these, just a little scrubby like this, and a little bit of this lime away, and, and um, put it on there. Okay, so we've got to go in the house and refresh our bucket with some fresh water. That's all we've got left from doing the back of the house. So let me tell you where I got these products. This squeegee, and you can put new, you can put new um, rubber on it when it wears down. But this 
squeegee you can buy something similar to this at either Home Depot, Lowe's, or off of Amazon. And you it comes with these. And they last forever. I've had this as long as I've lived in the house. These an extension that is perfect for reaching the high windows. And the bucket. Oh, buckets are important. Get a good sturdy bucket. Again, I've had this for a long, well, 20 some years. It's got a little crack in it, but it has held up really well. So don't go cheap on your buckets. Well, I don't know about you, but I am definitely working up a sweat. But it's going to feel so good to get my windows cleaned after this long winter. My daughter Julie gave me this as an early Mother's Day present. It's a Norwex um, rag for windows. And she says all she does is spray her windows inside of her house with a little water and this is all she uses. I've never tried these before, but I'm going to do it today. I want to see a picture of my mom when she was a little girl. That's my mom and her sister when they were little girls. Isn't that cute? All right. So, yeah, I think this is pretty cool stuff. Julie, I love them. Thank you very much. You gave me one for my face a while back and I like it too. So I'm going to use this often. Thank you. Now I want to show you how easy it is to clean these tracks and to take out the windows. You lift it up. Now I guess different windows will be different. but. Okay, now it's ridiculous to try and clean in between here when it is so easy to lift this whole thing out with a screwdriver. See how I'm getting underneath that? Okay. And I just take it and lift that. It's just plastic. It just sits down in there. And that whole thing will come out. And then you can clean your track. It is so easy. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, and don't laugh at me here, but it works, okay, is I'm going to put a little bit of petroleum jelly on this track. Just a little. So you see how smooth that makes it, the window, so it opens and shuts? 
it's just that little tiny bit. You don't want a whole gob of it because then it'll just collect a lot of grit and grime. But just a, just a tiny little bit. And that'll make that window glide so easy. Okay, I found a better example to show you. This one's really dirty. And I, pry, I got my screwdriver up underneath there. And just popping it up. Okay, well, this is typical. If you need it to rain, all you need to do is one or two things. Wash your windows or wash <laughs> or wash your windows or wash your car and wax it. Because every time you do, this is what happens. It just starts to rain real soon afterwards. Now, I like the rain. It's, it's really fun to sit under a covered porch and watch and listen to it. But really, when you wash your windows or your car, uh, one thing I do like about the rain that's really neat is look how pretty and green and just, it just brings everything to life. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna call it a day and uh, take cover by the, the fireplace, but we're gonna close the vlog here and we'll, we'll catch you next week. Thanks for watching, bye.